I showed you how to place dimensions in my introduction to the TechDraw Workbench video. Now I'm going to show you how to use the TechDraw Workbench to place center lines on circles and polar patterns of circles in your drawings. The center lines are cosmetic elements that are treated differently to the dimensions. So I will give you a brief introduction of the cosmetic elements and some of the tools that you will use with them. This will not be an in-depth look at the supporting tools and I will create a dedicated video for them in the future. Now let's get started. First of all, I'm going to make the TechDraw Workbench active. The tools to place center lines on circles and polar patterns of circles are part of the Workbench's center lines and threading extension, or you can access them through the TechDraw Center Lines toolbar. The toolbar is automatically visible, but you can turn it on through the view menu if it is not. I'm going to drag the TechDraw Center Lines toolbar to the right hand side of the screen to make it easier to access. I'm going to start by placing a circle center line for the hole in the top left corner. You can select either circle because they have the same center. Now click on the Add Circle Center Lines tool to add the circular center line. The circular center line is placed in the center of the hole. The length of the axis line is fixed and is not related to the size of the hole. Large holes receive the same sized circular center line as small holes. The circular center line is a cosmetic element, so it does not appear in the combo view unlike the dimension elements. This means that you cannot manipulate the cosmetic elements in the same manner as other elements in the model. Fortunately, other tools are provided to allow you to do so. I will get to those shortly. The Place Bolt Circular Center Line tool allows you to place center lines in a number of circles arranged in a polar pattern and also places a cosmetic circle passing through the center line of each point. You need to select at least three holes arranged in a polar pattern before using the tool. Make sure that you hold down the control key to add multiple holes. The tool will then place circular center lines on all the holes you selected and create a cosmetic circle through the center of each hole. The remaining holes did not receive cosmetic circular center lines you can add them manually using the Place Circular Center Line tool. I'm sure that you can see the difference between the circular center lines placed by the Place Bolt Circular Center Line tool and the ones that you place manually. Personally speaking, I would prefer that the orientation of the circular center lines be consistent, so I would select all five holes before starting the tool. If you like what you're watching, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Your donation will help improve the channel. As mentioned earlier, the cosmetic elements do not appear in the combo view, so you can't edit them like other model elements. The TechDraw Workbench provides a number of tools for modifying cosmetic elements. I will give you a quick rundown of a few of them here. A video explaining the tools in more detail is in the works and I will link to it when it is available. The tools that we are interested in are part of the TechDraw Annotations extension. The first tool that we will look at is the Remove Cosmetic Elements tool. You can access the tool by clicking on the Tech Draw menu, then clicking on the Remove Cosmetic Element tool at the bottom of the menu. Or you can access them through the Tech Draw Annotations toolbar. The toolbar is automatically visible, but you can turn it on through the View menu if it is not. Select the horizontal line in the circular center line for the bottom hole in the bolt pattern, then delete it. You can delete multiple cosmetic elements by selecting them or holding down the Control key before using the tool. You can extend the length of a cosmetic line using the Extend Line tool and you can shorten it using the Shorten Line tool. I'll demonstrate using the horizontal center line of the hole in the top left corner. Select the horizontal center line, then click on the Extend Line tool. The horizontal center line is extended by a fixed amount at both ends. You do not have the ability to change how much it is extended by. Reducing the length of the line works in a similar fashion. I'll demonstrate by using the vertical center line of the top right bolt circle center line. Select the vertical center line, then click on the shorten line tool. The vertical center line is shortened by a fixed amount at both ends. You do not have the ability to change how much it is reduced by. As their name suggests, cosmetic elements are not connected to the geometry of your model. This means that there are a few limitations when using them. The circular center line is not attached to the center of the hole, so it remains in its original location when the hole is moved. I will move the hole by modifying the sketch to show this. As you can see, the circular center line is no longer at the center of the hole. The only way to correct this is to remove the circular center line and then place a new one. Another way that you can include hole centers in your printed output is to enable it in the TechDraw Workbench's preferences. Click on the Edit menu 
and then select Preferences. Select the Tech Draw Workbench Preferences and then select the Annotation tab. Enable the Print Center Marks option and save the preferences. Small center marks will now be visible when you print the drawing. Another limitation is that you cannot use the center point of the bolt circular center line as an endpoint in the dimension because there isn't a center point. This is because the circle is cosmetic and not part of the actual drawing. It also means that you have to place dimension elements before adding any cosmetic elements to the technical drawing. It will also mean that you need to place dimensions to the center of each hole in the polar pattern rather than being able to place dimensions to the center of the polar pattern and using distance and angle dimensions to show where each hole is located. If you like what you're watching, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Your donation will help to improve the channel. Check out the next video in the series by clicking on the video in the top right corner. You can learn more about the TechDraw Workbench in the playlist in the bottom right or in the description below. I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.